Hi again everybody, welcome to my latest video. Well this is an update on my latest addition to my studio here, network wise. I made a previous video when I first did a quick review of the Zycel 12 port switch with 8 1 gig ports and 4 10 gig ports, one of those being SFF Plus. Well, I've been using it for a few weeks now and it's been working fine. And I'm glad to see it's finally back in stock. I've held off doing this update until it's back in stock so that people could get a hold of it and you know, be able to take advantage of its fantastic features the way I have. Let me go ahead and show you what I did in terms of mounting it here in my studio on the wall and also show you what the current configuration looks like. Stick to the end and you'll actually see exactly how I'm currently set up today. I start out by trying to locate the studs in the vicinity of where I want to put the shelf and then I mark them off appropriately. Then using a level, I make sure I get the marks uh, wide enough for me to see them with the board up. Then with the support board up and leveled off, I drill the holes that I need to get the thing attached properly to the studs. Then I drill with a larger bit into the actual studs themselves. The studs inside the wall in a couple of locations were very old and therefore very hard to get the drill to penetrate into, but with persistence I eventually penetrated. Then I drove the larger screws across the wood support beam into the studs underneath. So it's really solid and supports any amount of weight I want to give it. Next, I used the level and the actual shelf that I planned on securing to the wall to get it nice and straight as I mark the areas that I'll drill the holes in. This way it will be in the right place and be level at the same time. This was followed by the actual drilling of the holes into the support beam for the shelf prior to securing the screws between the beam and the shelf itself. Then just a little more adjustments and some final tightening of the screws, and it's all set. I'm going to have to drill a hole from the bottom to make sure I get the wire coming in in a better way. And now I can take the actual wire for the power, use a grommet that's the same size hole that I drilled, and insert it into the bottom of the shelf. That'll be best. I then need to use a regular flat screwdriver of the right size to push the grommet into the hole without damaging the wire. Now 
And now you can see in this close-up that I have a nice hole with a grommet protecting the wire and I insert the power through it. So now let me put the actual switch in place and connect the wire power and then we're all set to go. Notice the extended rubber feet that I have on the actual switch itself. That'll help keep it cool. Now that it's been powered up, you're going to start seeing it cycle. First the light blinks and then eventually all the ports will reset and it'll be ready to go. Now the first cable I connected was a 10 gig cable connected down to my main hub switch downstairs. As you can see, it has now made the connection. And here is how I have it configured today. I'm using about half of the ports, uh, three of the 10 gig and three of the one gig ports are in full use. And here I'm showing a fiber 10 gig port connection up to that switch where I'm just doing some bench testing of a new board. And then finally, I opened up the uh, menuing system for the management screens on this switch. As you can see here, I've used quite a bit of the port activity since it's been up and running, although I think I may have recycled the power at least one about halfway through, so this may only be a couple of weeks worth of activity. I did not make any special configuration to any of the ports. They're all as they were out of the box. I have not enabled any VLANs, although I may do that once I install my main core switch, the new one that I'm replacing it with, that uh, you'll see videos about very soon. I have not tried any link aggregation or mirroring of ports, although I may do both of those things in a test environment, uh, possibly even during a live stream. I originally set the quality of service on the various ports. This is the same configuration. I didn't really alter it with the 10 gig ports at the high end getting you know the priority in terms of uh, how much traffic they're going to be allowed. And I did set the IGMP so that it will identify the main port that's connecting this switch up to the main hub switch. And then, of course, you have the management screen where you can change your password and uh, enable other features if you so desire. Well, as you can see, it's a fantastic little product, and uh, I'm glad that it's back in stock and everybody can get one.